Let's begin. The world of Middle Earth. Welcome, warrior of Gondor. Your road here will not be an easy one. Much will be risked in the war that is to come. But you will justify my trust. This I sense with all my heart. Stand aside, creature. You are in my way. I haven't done a full playthrough in years. I've only just done fights off the save states on the emulator, so. Return to the shadow, slave of Sauron. has been given to me. Let it pass to him. Let him be spared. To you I bestow this gift of my people. It braces the soul and binds the hearts of others. I live because of your bravery, my lady. What favor might I grant you? There is no time. Hurry, we must find your equipment and heal your wounds. You have gift of Elrond, just use it, Adriel. Come on. Rule is we have to watch every cutscene. Yes, my friend, I have marked you. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, so what we got. I'll add in the missing items where it's appropriate later down the story, so that's probably a fair way away. And I might add some other little tweaks, like hack sort of stuff later on, just to spice things up a bit. The main difference between hard and normal, hard mode the enemies have 60% more health and they do 25% more damage. It's actually way better for farming, so you got more health to kill them, use more skill points. If you play on easy, you probably won't even get bloody citadel rage by the end of the game. Chunky. I think Idril's slightly faster. Yeah, probably. Fluid. Ah! 
He's not gonna hit the roller. The AI knows to balance out the damage. If someone's low on health, they're probably not gonna go kill him. Unless it's Morn, because it's fun to kill Morn. Jesus. Gonna lose in the second fight of the game. <laughs> Jeez, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I barely got through the second fight. Hmm. It's usually best to focus on two stat like categories per character. You could just focus on one. I usually do strength, half, and then half speed. Or for a fighter, and then I know for Elgos, I just dump it all in spirit. So the true shot just. One, it kills everything. But, I reckon I'll balance it out on this save. I'll just work on all of them. First, I'm going to work on health so I don't fucking die. I heard a voice. On the road? Yes, I know. Who could it? Patience. I'm looking for Boromir of Gondor. Have you seen him? No. But I do see orcs ahead. in the past I usually kind of drag out fights to get skill points and to like level up as well but for the sake of this I'm just gonna probably grind off screen or just speed it up so I don't put everyone to sleep You can tell, well, if that's Boromir's shield, so that's why Brother was like, oh, so have you seen Boromir around here? Because he just picks up his shield from the freaking chest. Weapons. Provisions. The elves are very resourceful. Long have we kept such way stations for times of great need. I am Berethor, captain of the Citadel Guard of Gondor. And I am Idriel. I serve Galadriel, Lady of Light. Take what you need and let us be on our way. Nice. 
sure these swords here are better than the ones we're using. Yeah, I gotta get started on the uh, spirit powers. All you really need from this tree is stunning strike and then you don't really need to touch it. Or leech inspiration, that's really good for farming. Just go to a what is it, those ones with the flags? Oh, the captains. Just sap them and then they just stand there forever. Mm, yeah, shadow. Cuban spies! My caravan is in danger! Those crows seem guided by some fell purpose. It is the hand of Isengard. The white wizard has betrayed us. Hurry! Mm, or it could just be one of those orc chieftains just summoning the crows. And you don't really know, do you? There, we're only fighting three. Hmm. I think Orkwain's supposed to do like 33% more. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty sure that just drains the strength. I gotta get started with spirit powers. Again. I don't think it works like that. Yeah, that's piss weak now. Guy's trying to friggin' farm some skills as well. He's caught on. Oh, 
Wait, did he run out? Did he just run out? Ah, he ran out. Well, may as well just farm a little bit. If you don't mind. Because I think that curse attack, it costs quite a bit of action points. It costs, I think, 25 or 30. And that murder of crows is 5. Nothing. Hasten to Rivendell. I have cleared the road for you. I am grateful, but you must return now to the passes. We saw evidence of recent battle there. Come, Gondorian. Some may still survive. Yay. Your strength. Yep. No, nah, no one stuns in origin. I'm gonna use that. And drain. Yep. Mm. Yeah, keep weakening. Mm. Yeah, get Elgos first. Just so he can get a bit of a run down here. I'm sure he'd appreciate killing some wild men. I'll just try to keep him even. Speed is actually very good. If you dump enough stat points into that, pretty much no one's going to hit you. It's just dodge, dodge, dodge. And if they have counter attack, it increases the initiative rate, so they'll counter any melee attack. Or brother paddled more. Ah! 
Hello, lovelies. You live. No thanks to you. Can't you see I was hunting them? You want to use the crows? Lure the wargs in close. They kill faster that way. You were of the Dunedain. At your service, lady. You meant to help me, so perhaps you may. Perhaps you should finish off the rest of the pack first. That's one crop I've always had. Got that sword in a few cutscenes and we never ever use it. Where does he put it? Man, can't miss. At least Elgos won't miss. Let's see. So you don't miss again. Nice. Oh fuck, I should have put that on. That's really good. Whoops. Looking good. No, nah, not arrow flurry. Screw that. Binding shot's great. Pierce might. Let's get Elgos out. I think he's even slower than Beryl. I'm just carrying around that giant sword that we never use. I'm sure it weighs a lot. Mm, 
Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna touch Elgo's strength. It's actually pointless. Dex, obviously you need, you don't want him just shooting freaking over the mountains too often, but strength, nah. Whatever I'd put into strength, I'd just dump in spirit. Open your eyes, dude. I'm gonna get Pierce Might. 50 AP for aim shots. Just too much. It's a fat turn penalty as well. Is one action point from doing anything. In the kit. Yeah, just want to spear it up. Need some action points. One more. Mm. Nah, go to the rage. Even though Citadel Rage will quickly be redundant, so you get a filly on rest straight away afterward. I'm just going to be using Pierce Might to get all of his Ranger Cry because it's so cheap. No turn penalty. Next to attacks, do nothing. Chris.
his will. Against some enemies, that is actually very, very effective. But then against others, it doesn't really lower their defense at all. It depends on the enemy spirit rating, like their spirit defense in particular. But we'll see. I'm just gonna get blinding shot. Fair way away though. Well, it is honest, it is wild. I'm not really aiming. Uh, one action point off again. Jeez. That's gonna miss. Not that one. I'm in that. There are some attacks where if the target's looking at the person going to attack them, they'll miss. Depends which attack though. But it is a thing. Level up, yay. Yeah, cons is always shit. I have to keep that steady. Mm. Nah, spirit. Just earlier on, because these are many action points. I don't want to keep running out.
All right, that's about it for now. I might just do a bit of off-screen farming and just get Fellowship Grace, and that will do it for today. <laughs>